after a modest return in calendar year 2022 analysts see 2023 to be a tale of two halves for the indian markets and economy covid fears amid china's reopening macroeconomic data and economic growth policies of the global central banks geopolitical situation the union budget and the market valuation back home are likely to shape the first 6 months the second half of 2023 according to experts could see the impact of the policies implemented by regulators to bring inflation and recession fears under check which in turn could propel markets higher i don't expect uh, 2023 to be a blockbuster year uh, especially in view of uh, the major headwinds uh, like uh, covid fears as well as uh, the hawkish stand taken by fed which again will have a trickle down effect on the other central banks secondly the fear of a slowdown transforming into a recession in europe and us could actually keeps the markets on the edge however the second half of the year should be better as india should outperform especially with the china plus 1 and now europe plus 1 which actually which may actually play out well and uh, when you outperform the fi's really can't afford to ignore the market so liquidity will flow into those economies which have been performing and clearly india would uh, prominently be among them you are bhat of alphaniti fintech on the other hand believes that markets are factoring in a number of positives that are likely to accrue even at the current levels i think that's entirely possible but the fact of the matter is that market has already factored in quite a lot of these things already in the price like say for example the market certainly believes that uh, the us interest rate hike uh, a sort of season will be over sometime in the late uh, first quarter of 2023 or early second quarter of 2023 so sometime during that time so and uh, the the peak rate could be probably somewhere between 4.85 to 5% so this is what the matter, uh, the market has factored and uh, as a matter of fact if you really see inflation has started um, sort of coming down a bit so therefore there may not be that much of a need for um, a fresh hike Uh, beyond what is already expected so as long as there is no negative surprise in terms of hikes as long as inflation there is not uh, much of a uh, surprise negative surprise there also i think the market is uh, has factored all this in now we have to really see uh, you know once we reach the, uh, the interest rate uh, peak then we have to see what uh, how much time will the, will the fed take to start talking of uh, cutting interest rates that would be probably you know best part of two three quarters but you know once uh, there is some indication that they have picked it out interest rate has picked out then i think people start uh, betting on interest rate uh, cuts so therefore uh, that probably would be in the second half and that is when i think people take a call on that and start reacting uh, in the in the in the markets so i think <clears throat> market could be you know you you were saying that the first half could be bad because of macro economic i don't think is getting any worse it's only probably going to get better because if you really see it, it is all this winter and all that even the ukraine war is sort of getting away because not all sectors will be <laughs> reacting the same way uh, but as far as india is concerned i think it is the domestic facing the industry which will probably do well because india the growth is like uh, you know probably exports may not be very strong uh, because of the international situation but i think domestically uh, consumption led this um, sort of sectors should do well While most brokerages remain bullish on the road ahead for equities, they suggest investors remain selective, be in the right sectors and stocks to earn a good return on their equity portfolio. Those at Credit Suisse, for instance, suggest investors focus on sectors, regions with resilient earnings and companies that can defend margins. Among sectors, banks, auto, pharma, select consumers, healthcare needs more attention according to BNP Paribas. Jeffries on the other hand expects Nifty to remain range bound between 17500 and 19500 levels due to steep valuation. However, they prefer a buy on dip strategy. Morgan Stanley and Julius Baer however have more aggressive sensex targets. Morgan Stanley sees the index hitting 80000 levels and Julius Baer expects 70000 levels by December 2023 in the best case scenario. As regards the Indian economy, Aditi Nair of Ikra expects the growth rate as measured by the GDP to moderate in the year ahead. What we're broadly bracing ourselves for is that uh, growth is going to be slower in uh, the coming year. Uh, both in terms of uh, the real uh, GDP growth as well as the nominal GDP growth. And hopefully, uh, inflation is going to be a lot lower as well. Uh, perhaps a bit of a moderation on the CPI side, a lot more moderation on the WPI side. 
what matters to consumers is ultimately the CPI. So perhaps uh, there uh, we should be uh, at least hopefully able to get some uh, kind of relief, uh, although uh, commodity prices need to remain uh, supportive and uh, the agricultural outlook as of now is looking pretty good, uh, which we're very hopeful of. Uh, the rubby sowing has taken off in a brisk manner and the reservoir levels are also quite uh, healthy when compared with seasonal trends. FI24, we're looking at GDP growth coming in around 6%, uh, down from 7% or thereabout in the current year. And on the CPI inflation side, we're expecting uh, the headline to moderate to about 5.2% or so for the next fiscal, from 6.6% for the current fiscal. On the twin deficits front, uh, perhaps uh, we're hopeful that at least there will be some fiscal consolidation going ahead. Uh, we would like to see a number uh, which is around 5.8% of uh, GDP for Government of India's fiscal deficit for FI24. And uh, on the current account deficit, you know, here certainly the outlook is a lot gloomier and less certain. Um, we do think that domestic demand is going to remain relatively resilient going into 2023. This is barring any COVID shocks or any other black swan events. Uh, but Certainly, uh, the external side is not looking that great. Markets in the first trading week of 2023 are likely to remain range-bound in the absence of any major cues. Stock-specific action is likely to continue as the markets await global triggers and the December quarter corporate results season back home that begins next week. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.